all right all right all right this is intuitive empress coming to you with the message for my Sagittarius. we have your september message for your twin flame and i received some new cards which is my twin flame messages and messenger oracle two for also for twin flames okay we're going to get into the message but before i just want to say i appreciate all of my subscribers and i thank you for trusting me with your message okay if you are new to the channel please like comment subscribe and share don't forget to hit the bell icon so you will know when new videos are made available I want to remind you that this is a general reading and it is timeless. So if you see it when I post it on today, if you see it a week from now, also time is fluid. So this could have been something that already happened. It could be your current situation or it could be a situation that comes up in the future. All right. So if you need a personal reading, which you want to be personal towards your situation you can go to the link in the description which will have information on getting a personal reading that is the only way you will get a personal reading from intuitive empress i will not contact you and say i have a personal reading for you so if someone contacts you and they say that to you then they are a scam delete that email right away okay all right so with no further ado let's get to it all right holy spirit heavenly angels of the most high god and the most high divine being all right give us messages for sagittarius and they came flying out so the first message said i want there's so much I want to say to you, but my words get in the way. Okay. Yes, we both feel the same way. Twin souls are mirroring. Right? You are too good for me. Letting go of feeling unworthy of your love past life the past returns to heal heal wounds and trauma to move forward so we are about to get right into it after this one it says what you can't see our divine plan trust in our story i'm gonna move this over to make sure that you can see it it is in the camera's view okay so what it is is with twin flames there is a divine plan for your life not everybody finds their twin flame but when you do it is a journey it is a journey to get you to your divine purpose okay and you have a divine purpose with your twin flame together okay and so before you meet this person, you have lived your life, okay? They have lived their life. They've gone through their hurts. They're going through their pain. They've gone through different things. You've gone through different things. And so as we know, life comes at you in many different ways. And so many times when you meet your twin flame, you have a healing, they have a healing. You have gone through similar things. Okay, so you need to heal from similar things. You go through some things in life and those things shape who you are, okay? But also there are lessons that we need to learn and lessons that we learn even from our twin flames, okay? Especially from them. We mirror each other as twin flames, okay? And so... You know how they always say the part of you that are in your children or in your parents or the things that, that you don't like about yourself that irritates you the most about that person. That is the same thing. And I just want to get everything in frame with your twin flame. 
okay? The things that irritate you the most are the things that you need to work on that irritate you, that rub up against you. And that's what they call the mirroring, where you're going through the same things, where you have the same issues, you have the same hangups. And that's what's going on here, Sagittarius. You know, there's so much this person wants to say to you, but they can't express themselves the way they would like to express themselves to you. Okay. And it says, yes, we both feel the same way because when you meet this person, it's like you knew this person all your life because you have all so many similarities, even though you may be opposites, even though you may have even come through different walks in life, your personality, because your spirit are twins. Okay. It's like identical twins. Okay. It's so you're different, but there's so much that you're alike. Um, even in regular twins, you're different, but it's so much that you are alike and you've walked through life with this twin. Okay. Just in different places. Whereas twins, most of the time they're born together, they grow up together and things like that. And so they have similar experiences. It's the same with your twin flame, only you may have not met this person until you got to a certain point in your life because the divine is orchestrating that. Okay. And many times you are going through this and not many times, all the times you're going through this because you have a set purpose and destiny. You have set gifts that match and mirror each other and complement each other. Okay. And it is to help this world and help people in this life. Okay. And it says, you are too good for me. Letting go of feeling unworthy of your love, you and or your person may feel like that you're unworthy of the other, but you are, you were born to love each other. You were born to do the things that you are doing right now with them. Okay. Sometimes in this twin frame journey, you do have to separate from your person. Okay. It can feel like you knew this person in another life. Okay. And it says what you can't see is our divine plan for with each other to trust the story. Okay. And so that's what, um, you know, spirit is wanting you to do to trust the story, to trust the divine plan for both of you. Okay. All right. So. I'm going to get some messages from the messenger Oracle two before we move over to the extended. Okay. There's going to be an extended for this. We're already almost 10 minutes in. Okay. <laughs> and it says, I daydream what I will say to you so much. I want to say, okay. I know you hurt. It's not rejection. I adore you, but I can't be there like you want yet. Okay. So a lot your twin wants to say to you, because there's been a lot going on, it says, I miss you. You are always on my mind. Breathe and relax. The Most High has our back. A plan is in place. You just need faith. And yes, I know this card said the universe, but the Most High is the creator of the universe. He is the one who set these things in motion in the universe, okay? One more card. Ah, wow, that flew out. It says, insecurities keep me away. I hope one day I can be brave and tell you just how much I love you. Okay. And so, again, we go through different things. You may have your insecurities. 
your person also has insecurities because they've lived the life before they came here to be with you. Okay. All for the first deck, the bottom of the deck says, let's manifest love. Thoughts are manifesting. Okay. So in order to manifest your person, both of you have to do work. But if one is doing the work and the other is not, it draws the other person to do the work. Okay. And so it says spiritual healing will raise your vibration and give you the strength. All right. So what's happening is this person is thinking of you, even though you are in separation, they know that they hurt you when they left. They, but they're saying it's not rejection. They do adore you, but they just can't be there yet. They're still being worked on. They're still doing the work. It says, I miss you. You are always on my mind because you have that spiritual connection. Again, they're saying they daydream. So you might be daydreaming about them. They're daydreaming about you. They're daydreaming about how it's going to be when you get together. They might even be dreaming at night about how the conversation is going to go. And once this love is manifested, the spiritual healing, get your spiritual healing to raise your vibration. As you raise your vibration, it's going to trigger your person to raise their vibration. Okay. Breathe and relax because God, the father, the Holy spirit and your heavenly angels that are assigned to both of you have your back. So just trust in the plan and have faith. Okay. Start meditating, praying, um, for your person's insecurities, um, because they're keeping them away from you. And they're hoping one day they'll be brave enough to tell you just how much. So they need your help and you need their help. Okay. And so as you do the work on yourselves, as you, you know, pray and everything like that for these things to be healed, then you will come together and not just come together, come together in your purpose, in your spiritual destiny and bring about healing to other people. Okay. So we're going to get a little preview of the extended before we go. Okay. And I'm going to do the angel oracles. I've already pre shuffled the deck. And then once we go into the extended, the extended is going to be about some situations that may be holding you and your person back. It'll also be about what the divine timing is because everything is in divine timing. Okay. And we're just going to give you a preview of what's to come. Okay. So it says heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Like this person said, they're, they're scared to come to you and let you know how they feel. But in order for this to heal, there are going to have to be some honest conversations and they are coming Sagittarius. Never to worry. They are coming. Okay. Just want to move this up just a little bit to get it out the way. So you have the heart to heart conversations. You have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And as you can see, your twin flame as well has insecurities. They're going to have to love themselves first because in here it says, I feel unworthy of you. Okay. And so they have to feel worthy of you. Okay. And in order for them to feel worthy of you, okay, they have to work on themselves. They have to love themselves first. So again, y'all may be mirroring each other. Love yourself first, Sag. Start doing that self work. Okay. Because there is a wedding coming. This situation involves marriage. 
okay so that is the message that i have for you i thank you for watching for those of you who will not be following me over to the extended message i appreciate you watching this message and i hope something resonated for you okay to those of you who are coming over to the extended i look forward to seeing you there don't forget to like comment subscribe and share if any of this resonated with you and hit the bell icon so you will know when the next video is coming all right now what i will say if this does not fit you okay don't make it fit there are other people out there who are doing messages that may be just for you there may be parts of it that hit and parts of them that don't take what applies and if it doesn't let it fly okay i wish you life love and happiness see you next video